All right, here's a quick update on our EV West uh, conversion to electric drive uh, on our 71 VW Super Beetle. And um, haven't got as far as I'd like to, but uh, at the moment, um, I'm going to show you what, what I've done and what I'm calculating out. And so, as you can see here, I've got the transaxle transmission all, uh, all resealed with uh, new. Uh, New seals, new gaskets, so forth like that. New throwout bearing, new pilot bearing, and so forth. But um, so it turned out pretty good. Didn't see anything unusual inside, but it's all back together. But I also ended up putting to put on uh, new uh, mounts on the transaxle here because this particular uh, engine here, uh, or this electric motor, uh, puts out well according to the specs, 76 horsepower and 120. Uh, foot-pounds of torque versus the original engine in the 71 had uh, 60 horsepower and 85 foot-pounds of torque so there's a huge difference and so um, I don't know if you recall in my last video uh, the coupler that's this part right here will go on to the shaft right there and then from there this coupler the new flywheel as you can see we had to order a new flywheel uh, in fact, this flywheel is off of a Type 4, and we found through Rock Auto a, uh, a lightened version for about a third of the price of what EV West sells their particular one. Their product is probably a little bit different, but um, uh, so anyway, so the Type 4, I guess, is a little bit more robust, as you can see, with the five with the five bolt pattern. And so, as I put it all together, I'll end up having to put this lock washer right on the top there, and then fold the edges over so that the 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 mounting bolts won't rotate back out or anything like that. However, I'm having a little bit of a hard time figuring out the shaft, the shaft depth right here, and how far to put the coupler in because it's an interference fit. As you can see, it's got a keyway right there and a keyway right there, a slot on the shaft. However, it has to, according to EV West, has to be heated up, the coupler has to be heated up to 600 degrees. Um, uh, and using a hot plate so hopefully this hot plate will will warm it up enough it's a 1200 watt hot plate and I was able to get the surface of the hot plate up to uh, well using this digital uh, thermometer up to about 720 degrees so I'm hoping that it will just the heat will transfer right onto this if not I'll have to use a torch but then it's got to be heated up so and then quickly jammed into onto the shaft and I don't know exactly how far down, but everything I've measured so far would be a full flush to the edge down in here. Um, I can't see it being out any farther, then we'd create all kinds of other problems. But it has to be a, a perfect height so that the flywheel is in the correct position. And then of course the disc, will, the disc goes right there, and then the pressure plate goes on top of that, and then that will all fit right onto the shaft here, and then mount to these four bolts uh, would go onto right there so it has to be damn near perfect and uh, I tried calling EV West yesterday but with no luck uh, so I'll give them a try again today but uh, so we had to run around this uh, darn flywheel came from California Southern California to Tucson should have taken a couple of days end up being 10 days the darn flywheel ended up going up to Medford Oregon then to uh, Portland Oregon then back down to Sacramento then to Blythe and then to Tucson so it took its own little vacation on the west coast and uh, just thank you FedEx for putting me back 10 days anyway so that's where we're at on that um, but otherwise things are coming together nicely and so I was going to put all of this together today uh, but then discovered I don't have the pilot alignment tool or the clutch alignment tool and our big box auto parts stores O'Reilly's and AutoZone and Pep Boys don't have the tool by itself so I'm gonna have to go to a specialty bug place, uh, probably Chirco Automotive on the east side of Tucson. In fact, those are some really good guys down there. They've been real helpful with a couple of questions I've had. And so, um, anyway, so that's where we're at on that. And um, but I thought as a little bonus this week, I'd kind of do a quick walk around on uh, Joey's aircraft. It's a uh, 1975 uh, Cessna uh, 182P beautiful airplane it's been in the desert basically for the last 20 years um, was painted repainted probably I'm gonna say 15 20 years ago and uh, this is the extended range uh, Skylane with uh, 80 gallons of fuel 
uh, bladder tanks and so you can be up in the air for quite a long time a lot longer than your bladder would hold out and so um, anyway so I'll just do a real quick walk around and so you can kind of get a visualize on a visual on it but it's a really a gorgeous plane and I'll do a real quick uh, shot of the interior we just had the panel reworked a little bit or the stack reworked a little while ago and uh, cleaned it up an awful lot but uh, yesterday when a good friend of ours was out flying it uh, we had some issues with the radios and so we're probably going to have to change this uh, switch panel there and possibly have to change the the headset jacks right down in here uh, but anyway and so uh, there you have the inside kind of really a lot of glare coming through the uh, through the open uh, hangar door but anyway a lot more room than in a standard 172 so you can see this is a, a true four-seater meaning you can actually put four adults in it and get off the ground during uh, even hot weather here in Tucson but uh, this one has a nice little baggage compartment here uh, we keep the battery uh, the battery is back behind that bulkhead right there but we keep it on a battery tender uh, so that things don't drain out so the battery doesn't drain while we're gone but uh, let me walk to the front here get a, another real quick shot and up oh, here we go here we go and so there you go beautiful aircraft and hoping we can get it up in the air a lot more this coming spring uh, fall but uh, anyway this is it for my videos for the summer I'm headed up to Oregon for two months to uh, enjoy the cool weather and actually uh, enjoy and, and, and see what a, a river looks like with water in it and it's been brutally hot here in Tucson uh, this summer and so uh, it's time to get out of here but anyway everybody have a great summer stay safe and uh, talk soon Bye.